Hello, Marlene. Okay. <laughs> Creo que tengo problemas con mi sonido. Mi, mi coso este está arruinado, creo. Este. Ah, no me escucha. Sí, le escucho, pero a veces se me va. Ah, quizás tiene falso. Eso, eso. Y entonces creo que debo cambiar los audífonos porque creo que es aquí en, la, en el USB. Ah, y no tiene otros audífonos, unos así normalitos, o manos libres. Ya voy a buscar, pero esos me, el ese que tengo aquí, unos más apretados. Por eso me he puesto estos más blanditos, pero ya pero no ya, quieren. Ya estuvo. Ajá, ajá. Sí. And how are you today? ¿Cómo está? Fine, teacher. Fine. And you? Yeah, a little bit sick, right? I have no voice. How? Yes, I, I am worst. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, teacher. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Probably later, okay? Later I will be fine. <laughs> But thank you so much. Hi, Adri. Sí, ronquita. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Fine. So-so. So-so? Ah, oh my God. Ando so bad, right? Oh, okay. okay. Yes, I imagine. But you are taking medicine or not? Yes, yes. And, and water. In what? More. Yes. <laughs> also, people say that uh, I forgot the name and the name in English. Coconut milk. Agua, um, agua de, de coco. No, de coco. People say that that is good, right? Yes. For that, so probably you can take it. First, Thank God, you. you will be better, right? Soon, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, Carlita. Hi. <clears throat> How are you today? So, so? Your microphone is off. <laughs> Ay, lo siento. Don't worry. <laughs> How are you today? Las actividades que tenemos en el colegio, pero bien. <laughs> yes, it's because you are about to finish, right? Lo que pasa es que por las lluvias teníamos actividades agendadas para esa semana y por las lluvias se nos atrasaron todas, entonces las pasaron para esta semana. Todas, entonces estamos bien. Ah, ya, yeah, imagine, right. <laughs> yeah, sí. it happened the same to me, but at the university, right? Yes, terrible. I imagine, <laughs> I, I understand it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being right here. Thank you. Hello, Sarai. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you today? I good. I have the flu. You are what? Sorry? I have the flu. You have flu? Oh my god. Yes. I think that it's because of the weather, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, but thank you so much for being here. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Sí. Um, más o menos, son, son. So, so. So, so. You are sick? Uh, I, I had the flu. Flu. La clase de flu. Yes, today everybody with flu, right? Todos tenemos gripe, la pasamos aquí. Aquí tenemos el virus, right? <laughs> Usted yeah. nos la pasó por la pantalla. Exactly, yeah, the teacher, right? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> so you are taking medicine, Jenny, or not? Yes. Yes. For the allergy also. Okay. Mm -hmm. But first, God, you will be better soon, right? Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Bernardino. How are you today? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Mm, more or less, more or less. Really? Why? Yeah, I feel uh, not too good because I, I go to the, the dentist today. The, okay. <laughs> and I have a little pain in my in your in mouth. your teeth, right? You have a uh hand. -huh, you have toothache, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. 
but you do you take pills or something like that for the pain or not? Yes, right now, yes. Okay. Right now, in this moment, I, 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 yes, I, around five minutes, I take a pill. Okay. Right now for the pain, but uh, I think that I can sleep good. Exactly. I, I hope thing. so. Yeah. First, God, right? The pills are going to be good for you and you will be better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, thank you so much for being right here. I think that okay. it is the time to start. So, let's begin with this part. So, it says good afternoon. It will not be good afternoon, right? It will be good evening. So, sorry, the teacher, right? Okay. So, let's begin. Remember that you have a work in the platform, okay? You have activities to do right there. And remember that right now, first of all, so sorry for my voice, right? I have a lot of a lot of gallitos, right? So sorry for that, <laughs> okay? But today we are in week number two, in which we have to work in section number three, okay? Section number three and the midterm exam. So I will say this in Spanish so that you can understand. Me están comentando algunas personas que como se dieron cuenta, mandaron un mensaje ahora en la mañana en el grupo, comentando de algunas personas que iban al día. Varias personas me estuvieron diciendo que no están en ese listado. Así que si ustedes no están en ese listado, por favor, mándenme captura de pantalla que ustedes ya hicieron las actividades y me mandan su nombre completo, por favor. Así yo lo mando a mi jefe para que él esté pendiente de eso y revise la plataforma, ¿ok? In case you are part of this. If not, don't pay attention, okay? So let's begin with this part. Remember one more time, this week we work in section number three and the midterm exam, okay? So let's begin with this. Today we are going to learn some new vocabulary, right? So I have this question for you. What can I find? And then we are going to have a place, okay? For example, what can I find in, in a grocery store? Do you know what is a grocery store or not? No, we don't know. We don't know? Yes, Marlene or Adri? Como una tienda. Como exactly. una tienda de, 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 o sea, una tienda pequeña, no como un supermercado, sino que algo más pequeño. Exactly. That is una tienda, right? Like near your house, cerca de nuestras casas, exactly. That's a grocery store, right? Most of people think that a grocery store, tienda de groserías, right? The thing that we think, a grocery store, tienda de groserías, but it is not like that, okay? Es una tiendita, as Adri says, little, right? A little store. So guys, I have this question for you. <clears throat> what can I find in a grocery store? Do you know what can I find there or not? Aha, uh -huh. who can tell me? It's a basic product for the home. Exactly, we can find basic, basic, basic products for home. Exactly, basically, right? And then guys, what can I find in a post office? Do you know what is a post office or not? Yep. Yes. What is that, Bernardino? Yeah, this is uh for receive uh mail, box mails. Exactly. Yes, that is the thing. In Spanish, we tend to say that that is a correo. Exactly. That's the thing. Thank you so much. So that is a post office, right? So look at it. I have new words for you right here. And it says, I will read it, but give me a second because I need water, okay? <clears throat> okay, so sorry for that. But here we go. Look at it. The first thing that we have right here, it's a train station, right? In El Salvador, I think that we don't have a train station because there... There is no train right here, right? Probably later or who knows. But this is uh, like a place that you can find probably in another country. And I think that you all know the meaning of this, right? Train station. Estación de tren, right? 
exactly. What about a cafe, guys? What is that? Cafeteria. Exactly. Thank you so much. That is a cafeteria. But what is the difference between a cafe and a cafeteria? Who knows? What is the difference between two words? The two words right there. We have a cafe. We have, oops, cafeteria. Cafeteria, right? <clears throat> what is the difference that we have between them? Teacher, tengo una. Yes, Estrella, do you have any question? Lo que pasa que este vaya en inglés. Café de tomar lleva doble E. Café de tomar. Yeah. Entonces, pero aquí con una F eh, sería como, como acá una cafetería o no, pero está poniendo cafetería también. Entonces ahí me confundo. Ok, excellent question. Yes, Marlene, tell me. Quizá la cafetería, café es donde venden así como pan y café nada más, así como pan, pan. Y una cafetería sería como donde hay más golosinas y cosas así de beber gaseos y cosas así. Ok, ok, you were in the point. Look at it, here I have the question. A café is like a pan, pan, as you said, right? They sell café, uh, sweet bread, right? Juices, frozen, and things like those. In a cafeteria, is a place that for you eat. find. Yes. No, cafeteria is a place for eat. Exactly, that's the thing. It's a place in which you have tables, right? And you have some stores there, and you can ask for food and take a seat. For example, you can find a cafeteria in schools right for example you have a cafeteria there because you can buy some things and you have tables in which you can sit or for example in central medical right or in a hospital you have cafeterias there so that is the difference and yes, not necessarily need to sell coffee right <clears throat> yes yeah, sorry one more time it's not necessary to sell coffee exactly. in this place exactly it is not necessary or mandatory to sell coffee right here. It is not needed. So, Estrella, here you have the difference, okay? I will write the other one. <clears throat> here we have coffee. Coffee is the drink, right? The beverage, the hot thing that you have. Then a cafe is the place in which you can find coffee. And a cafeteria is the place in which you can find tables, and you can find stores to buy some food, okay? Uh, the coffee cup uh, is cafe. Is a cafe, cafe. exactly. <laughs> exactly, that is the thing, good job, okay? So is that clear about coffee, cafe, and cafeteria? Yes. Yes, okay, that's all great. Look at it, then we have a library, right? Library. There you go with the pronunciation, library, okay? Then we have the post office, library. Well, later I will explain you because I have a question about this word. Then we have post office, right? As Bernardina says, it is the place in which you can send letters, right? You can send and you can receive letters, okay? That's a post office. Then we have cinema, something easy for you, right? where you can go buy some tickets and watch a movie, right? You can buy some popcorn, sodas, and those things, nachos also, right? Then we have a factory. What is a factory, guys? Do you know or not? Mm -hmm. Yes, who can tell me? Como la fabrica, teacher. Exactly, thank you so much, Lisandro, and welcome, exactly. That is a fabrica, right? A factory is a place uh, that basically makes things, right? Hace cosas, that's the thing. Then we have a bank, right? Where you can save your money, but you can also get the money. The two things, right? A bank. Then we have a gas station. Yes, Marta? Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello. 
el ban es un banco. Exactly. Banco, pero de dinero. De guardar dinero. Ajá. Exactly. <laughs> no un banquito, <laughs> right? Where you can... <laughs> exactly. That's a banco. Thank Excellent. You. Okay. Then we have gas station, right? Where you can buy gas. And also there are little stores, right? The gas stores in which you can find a lot of things, right? You can find food, you can buy coffee. Over there, you can go to the bathroom, right? If you are in a trip, you can make a stop there and go to the bathroom so fast, right? So there you go with the gas station. Then we have a restaurant. This is something easy for you, right? Where you buy food. A bookstore, okay? Later, I have a question for you between a difference between these two words. Then we have a pharmacy and a drugstore. Okay, so I have two questions for yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Good question. Look at it. That is the question that I have for you. <laughs> okay, Lisandro. So give me a second and I will explain it. Okay, Lisandro. Good question. What about you, Rosalba? What was your question? Good uh, bookstore. Bookstore. Exactly. The difference in bookstore and library. Look at it. Another one, right? Están leyendo mis diapositivas, right? Look at it. I have the two questions for you. So, what is the difference between a bookstore and a library? Who knows? ¿Quién sabe? Nobody? ¿Dónde podemos? What was the last word? No sé, no sé si será esa que, digamos, bookstore sería la tienda donde nosotros podemos adquirir el libro. Exacto. Pero en cambio, the library es donde nosotros podemos sentarnos. Hay espacios donde se puede sentar y se puede leer. Una Ay, biblioteca. No. Una biblioteca. Ok, you are near. Yes, you are on the point. Look at it. The bookstore is the place in which you can buy books. You can go there, buy books, and there are certain places in which you can sit and read, right? So over there you can have librería para comprar libros, but also biblioteca, right? The two things. In library, in El Salvador we say librería, but that is the place in which you can buy material. Okay, mm -hmm. for example, you can buy pencils, you can buy pens, you can buy notebooks, okay? Mm -hmm. You can buy plastic, right there, for me, you see, those materials, right? The things that you use. So there you go with the difference. <coughs> Sorry. And then I have another question for you, this one. So guys. What is the difference between a pharmacy and a drugstore? Who knows? Someone who has an idea, probably. A pharmacy in a drugstore. Nobody. No? Dicen usted está enferma. Que de la clase Nino. Yes, I am sick. <laughs> Nino, you want to be my teacher today? Please, I need one teacher. <laughs> okay, but <clears throat> I have the answer right here for you, Lisandro. Look at it. It says, <clears throat> a pharmacy is a dedicated store where all the prescriptive and compound medications are filled. It means, in simple words, a pharmacy is the place in which you can go and buy the medicine that the doctor gives you, right? And then on the other side, we have the drugstore. <clears throat> it says that it may be side counter in a shopping mall or a supermarket. In this drugstore, you can find some medicine, but common medicine, okay? like acetaminophen, right? We have uh, medicine for allergies, for the flu, okay, some syrups. And also in the drugstore, <clears throat> you can find like things for skincare, right? Cremitas para la cara, right? Things for beauty, cosas de belleza, okay? 
So there you go with the difference. <clears throat> In Spanish, pharmacy will be farmacia, right? And the drugstore, we don't have a translation. No tenemos traducción para drugstore. Porque la mayoría de veces lo traducen como farmacia también. Pero en la drugstore podemos encontrar cosas para la cara y medicina la más conocida. ¿Ok? <clears throat> so that's the difference. Is that okay, Lisandro? Did you get the difference? Yes. Ok. <clears throat> y en la, sí, y en la farmacia es también como... Es medicina recetada por el doctor, dijo, ¿verdad? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Y en drugstore, no. It is not like that. No, porque ahí venden más medicina como más conocida, <coughs> que no necesita receta médica. ¿Ok? Medicina, medicina. La medicina popular. Popular, es exactly, como... that is the word. Exactly. Es como yeah. una básica, una, como dice usted, una mm. acetaminofén que no puede influir a sobre riesgo, por eso exactly. es algo común. Yes. No es como un antibiótico o algo así que si no lo venden sin una receta <clears throat> médica. Exactly. That's the difference. Thank you so much, guys. So there you go with the difference between these two things, right? So right now, we're going to watch this video. Pay carefully attention because the accent in this part, there are certain words that probably you will have problems, okay? But let's pay attention to it and let me know if you can listen to it, okay? Okay. Now listen, teacher. And other... Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys, so there you go with the video, okay? Did you understand or not? Yes, no, some words. Some words. Some words. Do you want me to play it one more time or not? One more time? One more time, okay. I will play it once again. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. 
what I would like for you to Okay, so there you go with the video, right? These are the things. The things that you can find in the different places that we have right here. For example, in a department store. What is that? Mm -hmm. Who knows? What is a department store? Who knows about it? Nobody? Como tienda de departamento? Exactly. Tienda departamental, right? In Spanish, we don't say that, right? In Spanish, we have probably Simán, Prisma Moda, El Escorial, right? Yeah. We don't use a department store, okay? Y como decimos, centro comercial in English. Who knows? Uh huh. How we can say that word? Who knows? Small. Exactly. That is mall. Excellent. I will type it in the chat so that you can have it in case you don't know. Okay. So there you go. We say it mall. So what you have to do right now is to make sentences. Okay. You can pay bills at the bank. You can buy shoes at the department store. Okay. And there you go with the things that you can find in these different places. And buy shoes. Okay. For example, let me see. I will put the video in this part. Okay. So I want you to create one sentence saying what you can do in a bank, in a drugstore, in a post office, in a gas station, in a restaurant, and then you go. Okay. In a supermarket and all those things. So please, guys, make one sentence per picture. Okay. And you are going to start with the following sentence with the following statement okay for example in a and you put the word right the place you can find and then you continue right in a way look at it in a bank right you can find for example you put a word or you can say in a bank in this case you can do or you can paint, right? You can pay something. Okay. Yes? Um, solo con el stop the you. Yes? One more time. Solo con you. You can. If you want to use she can or I can, okay? But this okay. was just an example, okay? So I will give you as much per minutes. Okay, because I think that that is enough. So there we go, three minutes right now. So go ahead, please, and do one sentence per picture. <clears throat> In case you have questions or doubts, I will be right here, okay? Questions about vocabulary or, or something like that. Only one sentence, right, teacher? Yes, please, one. Thank you.
Okay, you are missing one more minute, okay? Okay, did you finish? Yes? No? No? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Give me one minute. No more. Minute. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. I will not, teacher. No, okay. I will give you one more minute, okay? Marlene, please, minute. hold on a second. Yes, Lisa? Yes? Yes, Lisandro? A medio camino voy. Me Ay, oh my God, Lisandro, hurry up, okay? I will give you one more minute. Teacher, <laughs> no sé si es en mi cámara o no le logro ver los nombres a los últimos tres. Ay, really? Okay. Yo give tampoco, me a teacher, eso me falta. Así ah. que eso no voy a... <laughs> okay, it will be, I will give them to you orally, okay? It will be a bookstore, F. Is a bookstore okay? Yeah, Write it better. bookstore. Then we have a department store, okay? A department store. Then we have a supermarket, a okay? department store, and then a supermarket. You see, with this, I want to make a dictation practice. You remember los que fueron mis alumnos? ¿Se recuerdan que hacíamos prácticas de dictado? Okay. We will do it. Probably yeah. today or probably tomorrow. Okay? We will do it. Excellent. Okay. So hurry up. One more minute. <clears throat> All right, guys, time is up, okay? We have to finish with this. So let's start. Who wants to start? Who wants to be my volunteer, my first volunteer? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Nobody help the teacher? The sick teacher? Teacher, teacher los, que, los que no tienen ese día la cámara, teacher. Ni lo que comienza. Exactly, yeah. People who doesn't have, people who doesn't, people who don't have. Teacher. 
you. Okay. Rosa, help I remember that you told me that on Monday I could see your face. Mm-hmm. Rosa, help. Okay, go ahead, please. Rosa, help. Hello, boy. Okay, go ahead, please. Um, you can buy a credit in the bank. Okay. You can buy acetaminophen to the drugstore. Uh -huh. You can make coffee post office. You can make what? Sorry? You can buy coffee post office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Um, you can buy gas in the gas station. Okay. You can eat some meal in the restaurant. Okay. You can buy Harry Potter book in the bookstore. Okay, good. Um, you can buy jeans in the department store. Okay. You can buy cookies in the restaurant. You can wa buy what, sorry? Cookies? Cookies in the supermarket, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay, thank you. Okay, we just have some little things, okay, Rosalba? The first thing that I have right here is this word, is this verb. This verb means pagar, okay? And we say it in English, pay, okay? Pay. Pay. Exactly. Another one, we don't say to the drugstore, okay? You can buy acetaminophen to the drugstore. No, we can drug say, store. okay, listen to it. You can say, you can buy acetaminophen in a drugstore, okay? In a drugstore, okay. Exactly. And the last one, a post office. The post office, remember, in Spanish, we say oficina del correo o el correo. Okay. Ah. Aha. So in this place, you cannot make coffee, right? Ah, okay. Exactly. Aha. So in this in this case, it will be a misunderstanding in the meeting. Okay, Rosalba. But thank you so much. That was so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see the next person who is going to help me. It's going to be Raquel Abigail, please. <clears throat> Teacher, que si, eh, solo hice, creo que tengo tres nada más. Oh, my God. Ok. Eh, she can car charge at the bank. She can? What? Sorry. La pronunciación de charge, teacher. Lo escribo. Yes, please. She can charge, probably. This one, this this word. Okay. This verb, it means cargar. Okay. It we say it charge. Okay. Charge. And it means cargar. Okay. Okay, Raquel, can you tell me your sentence, Com please? Comprar sería... Ajá. ¿Alguien sabe cómo decimos comprar? Who knows? Buy. 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 Exactly. Bueno. Good job. Look at it. We say it buy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Please. She, she can buy at the bank mm -hmm. no 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 este sería we can go buy fruit at the supermarket okay uh -huh. she can no es que en el banco sería what puede cobrar Ajá. ¿Cómo sería cobrar? Ajá, that was my question, guys. 
who knows, ¿cómo decimos cobrar? Ay, sorry, ¿cómo decimos cobrar? En inglés. Ajá. ¿Alguien sabe? Charge. Ajá. Most of people tend charge. to say charge. Yes, I can notice. Yes, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, like the word you, la, las palabras que me escribió sería esta, right? Charge. Pero <clears throat> la mayoría de personas, charge lo ocupa para cargar, okay? Y cuando ocupamos el traductor de Google y ponemos charge, o por ejemplo el verbo cobrar en inglés, lo ponen como charge, okay? Pero la mayoría de veces ocupamos el verbo bill para decir cobrar, okay? Mm -hmm. Bill. She can Sería bill. Exactly. In you can bill at the bank. Exactly. Good job. Yes. Another one? Teacher. Only that? Teacher. Uh, yes? Sí, estrella. <laughs> sí, yes, tengo una, sí, una consulta. What? En el ejemplo, en el ejemplo que salió en el video, por ejemplo, you can pay bills and at bank, at, o sea, at, pero si digo in the bank, ¿también estaría bien? Yes, hay una diferencia. Esta semana vamos a ver preposiciones, ¿ok? Pero les voy a adelantar esa, in and at. What is the difference, ¿ok? I can say, for example, Lisandro, you can come. Uh, for example, you can come in my house. I can say it, right? Cuando yo estoy en el lugar, yo puedo decir in. Cuando yo no estoy en el lugar, es que ocupamos at. Okay, for example, tomorrow, for example, I, I have to go at the university. Right? I have to go at the university. Yo no estoy en la universidad, right? Por eso tengo que decir at the university. Va a ser diferente si yo digo, for example, Adri, I will work for you in the university. Si yo ya estoy en la universidad mañana, okay? Let's suppose. So I can say to Adri, Adri, I will wait for you in the university. Voy a esperarla en la universidad. Porque yo ya estoy en la universidad y yo le digo a Adri, la voy a esperar en la universidad, okay? I am in the university. So that is the reason why I say in, and another one I say at. Okay. En estas oraciones, como estamos diciendo que pueden hacer, pero no están en el lugar, sería at. Exactly. Yes. Para todas sería at. Entonces... Most of the time, yes. Esta semana vamos a ver eso, okay? Esta semana, mm. justo esta semana lo vemos. Sí, sí y fíjese que no hice. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Lisandro. Yes, continue, Estrella, please. Okay. No hice una oración en, en la que, en la de apartment store. Uh -huh. Porque dijo que era como una tienda de apartamento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero, o sea, en realidad no sé qué se hace ahí. Ajá, uh -huh. I was explaining that part. In Spanish, we don't say tienda de departamentos, right? We say, for example, in Siman, right? El, the apartment store is like, say, in Siman, Prisma Moda, a Código Fashion we have, right? La Cova for men. La Bomba. La Bomba, you can find it. Yes. Okay, Estrella? So there you go with an example. Okay, okay, okay. Gracias. You're welcome. What about you, Lisandro? What did you say? Uh -huh. Vaya, teacher, voy con las mías, entonces. Ah, ok, go ahead. Es que usted dijo algo cuando Estrella estaba ah, hablando. Sí, que con el ejemplo que dio de in, at, es, at. me confundí todo entonces. Ok. <ríe> Porque no, no, no. No Hasta problema. el momento dejémoslo así. Ah, va. va ok. Va. Voy, sí. Voy, 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 uh -huh. I can buy aspirin oh. in the drugstore. Ok. I can buy milk at the supermarket. Okay. Uh, you can get money at the bank. Mm -hmm. 
I can put gas in my car at gas station. I can what? Sorry, what was the verb? I can put gas in my car at gas station. Exactly, yes. yes. Uh -huh. uh, they can eat lunch in the restaurant. Exactly, good job. She can buy a dress in a department store. Uh -huh. I can buy the Bible in a bookstore. Okay. Send letter at a post office. I can what? I can send letter at the post office. Okay. I can send a letter. Okay. A letter. I can send a letter. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Good job. Excellent. I like it. Thank you so much. Les digo que ahorita dejemos hasta así, o sea, para no confundirnos y entrar en dilema. Lo de las preposiciones. Porque para esta semana vamos a estudiar las preposiciones más a fondo. ¿Ok? Donde les voy a dar la diferencia cuando ocupar esto, cuando ocupar lo otro. ¿Ok? Entonces, por el momento dejémoslo así. Y durante la semana vamos a resolver esa pieza. ¿Ok? Who else? For example, I have right here Rocío, Gabriela. Hello, are you here? No. Ok, guys. I will say something and I will say it in Spanish. Remember, recordemos que al inicio de las clases, hace una semana, yo les dije que ellos también toman, lo dice Forbes, toman en cuenta la asistencia y la participación. Cada vez que yo pido voluntarios, yo me voy fijando quiénes me dicen yo. Cuando yo pregunto, Lisandro está aquí y Lisandro nada, right? Entonces yo me fijo y miren, ya no. Ok. Yo anoto. Lisandro no está aquí. Ok. Ustedes no me ven escribiendo, pero lo escribo. Ok. Entonces, recordemos que la participación es importante porque ustedes tienen que practicar el idioma. Ok. Un idioma lo aprendemos practicando y cometiendo errores. Ok. Entonces, por eso es que la participación es importante. Si okay. puedo cometer errores. Perdón, puedo, part <risa> ¿Puedo participar. <risa> For sure. Don't say that, okay? Yes, you can participate. There's no no sé por qué la cámara desde un inicio está así como que está congelada. Pero así de que no le he tocado porque. Pues, yes, okay. Don't worry. Eh, Go ahead, Lorena, please. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver cómo me sale. Eh, podría ser la primera. Eh, I can buy for basic service on the bank. Okay. Tal vez no en el orden, pero okay. No, ya um, no. Vamos a ver otra. Can I buy my stamps at the post office? A question. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Um, my mother goes to the mall on the weekends and can spend spend a lot with hot realizing it. Ahí como que quise decir que, um, que gasta mucho, algo así, no sé si estaría bien. Ajá, ok. Can you say it one more time? Waste, what? Waste, money? Ah, ok. Ok, yes. Gastar dinero, we say it in that way. Waste. Hay una diferencia yes. entre waste y spend. Ah, okay. Ambos significan eh, gastar, okay. pero waste significa como desperdiciarlo, ah, ¿ok? En okay. spend significa gastarlo, pero en algo como productivo. Ah, ok. okay. So there you go with the difference. Go ahead, continue, Lorena. Good job. Uh, in this restaurant, I can eat delic delicious. Okay, in this restaurant, I can eat. I can eat. Exactly. I can eat delicious food. Okay. Okay, delicious food. Uh, sería food. Okay, aquí me falta. Eh, vamos a ver otra. Uh, the department store has good deals. Has what? Has good uh, deals. Exactly. Okay, good job. 
Um, so okay, excellent. That was so good. Thank you so much. Yes, you see, yes. you can participate. Excellent. Good yes. job. Okay, that's so great. Let me see who else. I have right here Veronica Jamilet. Hello. Can I see your beautiful face today or not? Hello, hello teacher. Eh, no sé si me escucha, soy un poco mal, mal de salud, pero okay. hice las oraciones. Exactly. Okay, I am bad also, as you can see. I have a lot of sí. gallos today, right? Sí. <laughs> But you sí. can go. Please go ahead. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, and I pharmacy. You can find service for your body. Okay. Um, In a pharmacy. You can. You can find serums. Eh, no sé si estoy bien. Eso quiere decir como suero. Ah, okay. But what about the verb? Can you type it, please? Puede escribirlo mm -hmm. en el chat para ver el verbo que ocupó, porfa. Mm -hmm. You can think. Um, ah, so this one. Uh -huh. uh, one. De suero, no sé si se está bien. Suero. Uh, Escribí en el chat. Mm, okay. One thing. In this case, serum. Sí significa suero, pero no el suero que nos ponen cuando estamos enfermos, sino que ven que tenemos las personas que se cuidan la cara. Hay serum como de ácido hialurónico, de niacinamida y cosas para la cara. Entonces, cuando Exacto. ocupamos la palabra serum, nos referimos a este tipo de sueros. ¿Ok? Cuidado de la piel. Exactly, para el cuidado de la piel. ¿Ok? En la web. Go ahead, continue, please. Uh, for your body, es para el cuerpo, sería siempre. Yes, it could uh, be for your body. Uh -huh. uh, la segunda sería, um, um, a supermarket, you can find vegetables for your lunch. Okay, just one little mm -hmm. thing. Remember, this verb, this verb, we say it fine, okay, fine. You can find vegetables, for example. Okay? Okay, go ahead, please. Continue. Good job. Okay. Mm. Um, la tercera sería, in a bank, uh, you can find your saving account. Your saving account. Okay. Um, uh, la otra sería, I... In a restaurant, you can find very delicious and expensive food. Okay. You can find or you can find? Uh, I say. Uh huh. You can find or you can find? You can find. Fine. It will be okay. Fine. You can okay. find. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, no, yes, I teacher. Okay, that's so good. Thank you so much, Veronica. I appreciate it. Yo puedo. Yes, Marta? Yo puedo. Yes, go ahead, please. Sí, sí, teacher. Go ahead. Yo solo hice three, <laughs> no más. Okay. I said, you can go to the bank to Wildren. No sé si así Wildren es de retirar. Retirar. Está bien, la pronunciación. Can you type it in the chat in the way you have it? ¿Puede escribirlo en el chat de la manera en la que lo escribió? Por favor. Yeah. I think that there is, is, is this word with draw, I think. No estoy segura si es esa. ¿Así? Ajá. Entonces okay. sería con yeah. TH. Ajá. Withdraw. Ok. Withdraw. Can withdraw. Exactly, in that way. Pero está bien la oración. Yes. Y la otra, you can go eat a, a, a restaurant. You can what? You can go eat restaurant. Okay, you can go to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, the other one. Only that? 
Está bien. Yes, it's okay. Um, otra es you can go a uh, um, full gas en estación. No sé cómo pronunciar. Ajá, it says gas station. Gas station. Exactly. Está bien. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Marta. Yes, Fernandino. Tell me. I I do in different way. Okay, tell me. Uh, for example, on the first one, I put in the bank, you can find a credit card. Exactly. Good job. In a drug in a drugstore, you can find a scene of B12. Okay. In a post office, you can receive a package from Amazon. In a gas station, you can uh, buy diesel. Okay. In a restaurant, you can eat seafood. Uh -huh. In a bookstore, you can find a great bestseller novel. In a department store, you can find clothes for winter. And in a supermarket, you can find groceries for house. Okay, so good. Excellent. I just have a little detail, okay? Just a little, okay. this word. We say it drugstore, okay? Drugstore. Drugstore. Drugstore, exactly. Drugstore. Excellent, Bernardino. Thank you so much. Do we have another volunteer? Or we finish with this? Mm -hmm. um, yes, go ahead, Jenny, please. Um, bueno, yo, yo le vi eh, pues, eh, y a un restaurant. Hola. Uh -huh. Hola. 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 Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. That's okay. Don't worry. What? Eh, and restaurant. I am restaurant. You can find. I can buy. Buy from breakfast. Okay. Okay. We are going step by step. Okay. You are going to say in a restaurant. Okay. You can find or you can eat. You can find or eat. Ay, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay. It was fine. Lo puse como comprar desayuno. Ajá. Entonces, en este caso sería, in a restaurant, you can buy breakfast. Bread. In a restaurant. Ajá. You, you can. Okay. Listen to the pronunciation. It will be you. You can buy can you can buy breakfast breakfast okay listen one more time breakfast breakfast ah, now all together breakfast breakfast exactly good job in that way okay so yeah in a restaurant and you, you, you can breakfast. You can buy breakfast. You can buy breakfast. Exactly. Good job. Excellent. Um, that means um, I, you, you can buy jet, bueno, no sé si se pronuncia, jet, jet boats. What is that? What is it? Uh, para decir ah, okay. You are talking about another thing. I think it's this one. Check. Like that? Check box? Uh, lo había escrito. Okay. Yes. Ah, checkbooks. Okay, it will be checkbooks. 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 Exactly. Now, all together, it will be checkbooks. Checkbooks. Exactly. In that way. 
sería entonces you can buy cat check books check books exactly excellent um, I can build credit cards okay I can get credit card uh -huh. I can build credit cards aha uh -huh. go ahead in a library and you can find um you uh, you can buy bomb pap paper paper mm -hmm. papel bomb yeah. bomb bomb paper. paper yeah it will be library okay library uh, library yeah exactly. Library. Uh huh. And um, cafeteria. 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 And you can find. Um, I can buy pupusas. Okay, we say it in a cafeteria. I can buy pupusas. In a cafeteria. 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 Exactly. In bike, pupusas. I can buy. I can buy pupusas. Exactly. Good job. In that way. Only that. Only that. Yes. <laughs> okay. That was so good, Jenny. Thank you so much. That was so good. Okay, guys. For the rest, uh, that couldn't pass today. Tomorrow we are going to do this. Okay. Please. Study the places, okay? The places that we have in the city because for tomorrow I have another activity and we are going to continue with this part, okay? So please study this, study the pronunciation and in case you have questions or doubts about the pronunciation of certain words or about the meaning of a word, you just let me know. You have right there my WhatsApp and you can text me, okay? So I think that that's going to be everything for today thank you so much for being right here and i hope to see you tomorrow in the class okay bye bye okay you bye, bye, tomorrow. Teacher. Bye, see you tomorrow thank you you're welcome bye 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 bye, bye.